Right, uh, welcome back to the Career Build Series, this is part 14. Um, so where we left off, um, we were doing a tow mission where we towed this boat. Um, we towed her from up about here down to the career base, and then uh, we went ahead and pulled in because um, there's a bunch of stuff I want to work on this boat. So I, I find that doing a career game really helps you with um, with figuring out what you need to do. Um, for your craft so you kind of see what where the deficits are so there's a bunch of things we uh, should do to this so one we were having some issues towing uh, because um, you know we couldn't change our rope lengths um, we were just having to attach it um, and so that was causing our boat to tilt um, so we have a couple options here we could do um, I think think I'm going to do so um, ideally you know physics wise you want to put um, you want to put a tow point ahead of your um, ahead of your rudders that way the boat can pivot around the anchor so if we had it back here it would be more difficult um, to actually turn so this is something that you know uh, towing vehicles really have to worry about so what we're going to do is going to put a winch in the center here <coughs> So go ahead and do a medium winch. That's going to give us um, 20 meters of cable. So more than enough cable. But it also, you know, one thing I, I wish they would kind of change in games. I, I wish a lot of these things would have composites on them because currently, if you look at this, this one has the ability to read um, length. If we look at this other winch here, um, this one does not have the ability to read length. I wish you could have a composite signal so you could read length off of any of them. Um, so that makes it so that you know you have to use the bigger winch to read the length. So we don't want to go too high. We want to go about to where the rail is here. Um, so let's go to right about there. That way the rope will go over the rail. Uh, we'll paste that. Um, and so we want to be able to read our uh, cable length. That's going to give us the ability to, um, you know, we can set our length and read how far it is. So let's go ahead and we'll just try to dress this up, make it look um, look nice. Uh, let's put some blocks there, I think. All right, so that doesn't look terrible. Um, Okay, so that's pretty good there, I think. It looks kind of sturdy. We have a walk path. It will go over the rail. We have plenty of room to come up the ladder. And then just from a technical standpoint, you want to have the pivot ahead of your rudders so that you can more easily turn your boat. So let's merge that. All right, good. So now we have a um, winch. Now, you know, I, I've done it before where I put them up here, but the issue is, um, you know, you want to get it, Ultimately, in line with your center of thrust and gravity would be ideal. Um, the higher you go, the more the bow of the boat's going to try to pick up out of the water. So we have to keep that in mind. Um, so let's start working on the microcontroller. So I want to do a winch microcontroller. Okay, let's do winch. All right, so let's start putting. Uh, let's just make it bigger for now and then I can change it. Let's add, uh, we want a composite. We're going to use a panel to um, control it. Um, so we need a panel in and out because we're going to want to also read the length of the cable. So we'll do input and output. Um, and then we need to be able to, we'll actually make it bigger again. We need to be able to read um, <coughs> go like this okay we need um, an output for uh, winch up we need an output for winch down and we need a number input for cable length okay so that's that so let's go to uh, go on in there here so let's see So let's see. Let's we'll make it pretty simple. Um, we'll just make toggles. So we'll read on off. So we want one and we'll just make it. What do I want? One and three. I would say. Okay, one and three are going to be my toggles. Um, then I'm thinking I want to do um, the cable length. We'll write. Um, 
maybe two. So we'll write a number and we'll make that start channel two. That will write cable length. That will go to our out panel here. Um, we have up and we have down. So we'll make that pretty simple for now. We'll update that and that will work in the panel. So let's take a panel. And let's uh, start working on this. So we want um, winch in. It's going to be an arrow button up. It'll be toggle. We'll do uh, two will be cable length. Uh, let's see. We'll do a dial uh, zero to, um, we'll do, keep it in meters, 20 meters. So that'll be two. Uh, this one will be um, winch out. That will be an arrow button. That will be going down. That will be toggle. That will be three. And then I don't know what I want for four yet. I might use it for something else. So let's just put it as none for now. And that will end up being four. All right. So that's good. So let's look inside here and let's find where we want to mount this. So... Um, <clears throat> let me see where I want to mount this. Could probably be, I mean, I'm gonna spawn it. I wanna kinda see, um, you know, what feels comfortable here. So as you can see, we can easily walk around it. Okay, so let's sit in our seat, see what we can reach. <coughs> um, I'd like to put it here, but with the window, there, it's probably not going to let me. Um, I'd have to put it on a pivot, which I really don't want to do. Um, could put it here. I don't have any panel space left. Um, one thing I could do is, this is an enunciator panel here. This is just showing enunci enunciators. I don't need this here, so let's do this. All right, so that's just showing me, um, you know, if I have low, low volts, low bad, all that stuff. So let's move this here. Actually, hmm, I could put this on the main panel here, but I won't have a readout. Let me undo that really quick. Let's see, do we have any space to put, so I have two spots here. Um, oh, 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 they also fixed the, um, they also fixed the, um, the ability to color these throttles, so I'll work on those as well. Um, I have a space here, I could put the, um, Put the winch there. Let me look at what I have here for dials. Um, two is starboard RPM port temp. Why do I have it like that? Let me see. One is port RPM, starboard RPM. Okay, port temp, starboard temp. Okay, that's good. So that's our engines. Um, let me see. What's this look like here? Posit. I'm just trying to remember. I haven't, you know, played with this in a little bit. So I have multiples going there. Um, we don't need to read the winch distance, really. We just don't. Um, so let's look at... Um, yes, yeah, so we don't really need to read the winch distance. Um, that's not really necessary. So let's go ahead, and we have a couple blank spots here. We have three... Let me read the numbers here. That's 19, that's 20. Uh, what's this one? That's 23. Okay, so I uh, I left some spaces here. So um, so we can do 21. I'm sorry, let's do um, arrow button. We'll do winch in. Okay, that'll be up toggle. That'll be 21. All right, we won't worry about doing, we don't really need to know the winch length. Um, and then that toggle, yep. And then this one will be an arrow button down. And it'll, as you can see, it'll be pointing behind us showing that we want winch out. And that will be down, that'll be toggle, that'll be 22. Okay, so that saves us some space. We don't have to try to mount that. Um, yeah, if we want to move it later, we always can. So let's go ahead here. Let's see where these daisy chain to. 
um, daisy chains to here, which then daisy chains down there. So this can go to uh, panel. Let's uh, actually work on this and let's change some of the stuff up since we didn't don't need it. So winch up is going to be 21. Okay, winch down is going to be 22. All right, so we're not going to bother with cable length. So let's get rid of some of these things that we're not going to do anymore. Cable length we don't need, which means we don't need an output. So now we just need this. So let's, because of that, let's go like that and make that nice and small. Make sure that's all connected. That can go. All right, so we've made it a little bit more simple. All right, so let's start connecting. So uh, this is winch down. And this is winch up. Um, all right. Is that connected? That's connected to the panel. So this can go um, underneath. You know, we can move it um, somewhere else later if we wish to. Okay. But that's there. Okay, so that works our winch. So next we need electricity. All right, so I think I just did a simple electricity system again. You know, for I uh, I recorded this uh, first week of April, and so it's the um, first week of May now. So um, I just rewatched the video to try to re remember some of this. So might be a little bit foggy, but okay. So now we have our winch in there. Um, let's paint this kind of a high vis color. Um, You know, you want to be careful with, um, you know, IRL and, you know, of, uh, you know, with a, um, you know, you want to be careful IRL of, of the cable of a winch. So, um, you know, so we'll paint it kind of high vis. All right. So there's our, our winch. So that's going to help us with towing. Um, so let's go ahead and let's um, save this. Um, Okay, uh, so we're on 14. Let's save that. So next thing I want to do is I'm actually going to um, put the stoichiometric equation. So I, I talked about this in some previous videos where we would end up getting into um, uh, putting the stoichiometric equation maybe supercharging. So let's do that. We were going 10 knots towing that boat, which wasn't bad, but um, we've been wanting to get a little more speed out of this anyway. So let's open up. This is, um, you know, this is the coaxial helicopter I worked on. Um, in one of my tutorial videos and so I'm going to go in here just because I um, have this um, done. Let me actually um, as well, I was contacted by the person who actually where I found the um, equations and so I wanted to make sure that I um, credited them because um, you know this is where I got it and I, I certainly like to credit the work of the people that I um, that I get um, you know, get things from. So um, let me just quickly open up this Reddit thread and I'll find their name. So their name in game is the um, Adister. Um, so that's probably where I got the formula. I still need to look through their stuff on Steam and I'll link it. Um, but this is where I get these formulas from. So let's go ahead and let's copy this whole section here. Um, that's going to give me the stoichiometric equation. Let's go back to 14. Let's go into the engine. Okay, and so where we have um, air and fuel here, I'm going to move that over. I'm going to come down here for the other engine, move that over, and then I'm going to start pasting them in. So we'll need it twice, and uh, I'll actually just move this where I want it. So that's, that's good for now. And then this one I'll paste again, and um, that's the next one. All right, so let's see. We want to take, um, so what I'm going to do is instead of actually uh, erasing this, I'm just going to say it, keep it there. So our throttle setting here, if we look over here, I made a note, X equals thrust. So we want to put the X inputs on both there from the, our PID. And we'll go up here and we'll do that as well. Um, we want to take from the PID and we'll go um, to the X's. Then we can connect air to the top one, fuel to the bottom one, and we'll do that here as well. All right, so what this is going to do is this is going to automatically adjust um, air and fuel 
to maintain a stoichiometry of 0.2 so I go over that in some of those videos um, if if you have not seen them um, and then I could delete this stuff but I'm just going to keep it there in case you know sometimes if you break something you can just go right back it, it's helpful um, and then here as you can see we have these composite signals those need to come from the engines themselves so as you can see we have um, I'm looking for my port and starboard um, engine reads, so I need to find those. Panel, where are we at here? All right, so I need to find the composites for the port and starboard. Okay, so here's port engine. All right, so port engine needs to go here. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use a switch box. I I just do this for routing purposes. Um, so we're going to take a, um, actually I want composite, so right here, composite switch box. Alright, so I'm just going to do this for routing purposes so I can make um, a little bit you know, cleaner lines. So uh, we want the off signal, I'm going to go to the off signal here and that allows me to just move this, um, you know, where it's a little bit cleaner. Um, so like I can put it right there. Or I can move it across here. What I'll do is I'll move it across here and then I'll connect my composite like so and uh, that will just as you can see it's just making my lines cleaner so it's not cutting across everything all right so that's our port side I'm um, going to the wrong one actually port should go up here I just noticed that okay so that goes like that and then I need to uh, find starboard the starboard engine so let's find that so that's probably somewhere over here all right, so what's this going on? That's coolant pump. Um, okay, so right here, starboard engine. So we can grab our other um, numerical switch box. Again, I'm just using those to make it easy for me to, um, to route them around. So this will go like this. And now we plug in um, these values. This gives us air fuel and um, our temperature so that allows it to calculate um, what it needs to do to maintain the appropriate stoichiometry okay so that's in there so let's update and then I'm going to change um, something else so you'll see this in some of my tutorials so these are just air filters um, if I put in um, rams I'll just put in air I th uh, scoops rather so I'm putting these air scoops um, as the faster you go, the more air that goes in there, and that's going to give you more, um, you know, because you're getting more air, you can stuff more fuel in there, giving you more horsepower. So let's go down here, and as you can see, we have um, our air intakes here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make symmetries on. I'm going to delete three blocks. Now, we could also do this with an impeller and with gearing, but I'm going to just do it with a pump um, for the moment. And that's going to allow us to just be a little, it's a little bit simpler. Um, I don't have to do bypasses or anything yet. Uh, make sure the flow is correct. So the black ring should be the direction of flow, which it is. Um, you know, if we look here, it's coming down, it's going into there. Um, so we want to trigger these and we want to hook them up to electricity. So let's do electricity first. So we'll grab these and hook them up to electricity. And then we need to trigger these. Um, so... Let me see. Let's find our microcontroller here. Let's see if I have an empty node. Okay, I have an empty node there. What do we have? Master power. Master power systems. Gear start. Starter. Hmm, why do I have start and starter? That's interesting. Okay, let me see if. Uh, let me just look at that real quick. See why I have start and starter. Oh, one's for one side, one's for the other. Master power. Okay, let's just have it come off the systems for now and plug into the pumps. Okay, so that's good. That will turn our pumps on when our systems come on. Um, and that's going to allow us. So let's, uh, so hopefully this should um, get our boat going faster. Um, you know, so we added scoops, we added pumps, that's going to allow us to put more air into the engine. That stoichiometric equation is automatically going to allow us to put more fuel in. Let me make sure I don't have any clamps in here that I don't want that are going to restrict um, airflow. Um, 
Let's see, that looks good. Okay. I may want to clamp this at one. I'm not sure. Let me, um, all right, let's update this really quick and let's go do a quick test. Um, so this boat should be faster. Um, it's also going to, you know, burn more fuel. It's also going to um, run hotter. So these are all things you need to keep in mind. So master systems, port, starboard, they both start. Let's sync them and let's start going on out. So what was our max speed? I think it was 25. So I need to adjust the clutches as well. So as you can see, we're uh, we're having some choking issues here where we're actually choking our engines out. So it wouldn't surprise me if that's the pumps doing that. The, uh, so let's recall it now that we're still close. Um, let's delete these um, pumps for right now. And let's just add pipes. We'll go without... Uh, We'll go without supercharging it for the moment. We'll just test it with. Um, we'll just test it without that, and we'll see if we we should get more speed anyway, just because of the scoops. Okay. So I don't know what is up with this. Okay. All right. So let's see why having issues here. All right, so it's probably something with the stoichiometric equation. Those are connected. Okay, let me try this. Um, let me clamp that, make sure we're not going over one. Um, if we're going over one throttle, um, that might be giving us issues. So let me go ahead and do this. Put a clamp in there, and let's. Uh, I'm just going to clamp one. What side's this? This is the starboard. So since we've clamped starboard, um, that's going to allow us to see a difference between starboard and port. So if we get a ton of power on starboard and we don't get much on port, we know that fixed it. This is dance, and that's doing absolutely nothing. All right, let's look at this here. All right. So we did starboard. That's good. Two. That's fine. Up. Oh, the pid's not turning on. No, it's it's turn on. Okay, it just I'd hidden it. That's zero one. Okay, let's try changing the p the um, p value on this. Um, the, the p value seems too high to me. 0.5, as you can see, it was dancing around too much. So let's let's try a lower p value. Um, if we still struggle with this, little bring it right into our test world. That'll be be a little bit easier. All right, much better. So that was the pit value is causing us problems. All right, so with this, we have about the same amount of speed that we had before. Um, so let, now let's try supercharging. Okay. Now we'll go into impeller supercharging at some point, but um, I want to get into a, finishing this mission here. All right, so hopefully we're going to get more than 24 knots. We probably went down a little bit just because, um, you know, we're running more efficiently um, at that stoichiometry. So, um, you know, that would be why we probably lost a little bit, which is fine. Um, you know, we can still do supercharging. Okay, so that's set up. Let's spawn it. All right, so the pit, the p value on that pid was causing us problems. I, you know, I've done a bunch of building since and and. You know, that value seemed wrong to me. Alright, so you see, we picked up a little bit of speed with supercharging. Uh, probably doing impellers will be even better. Uh, let me see if I can 
won't be able to hear my winch because it's not uh, the rope's not connected to anything. So let's go around here um, and let's get this boat delivered, and then we can work on this some more. Okay, so let's go back in here. Let's make sure this should be connected. So let's go to logic. Let's go to uh, rope, and let's just connect that to one of our ropes here, and that way we'll have a rope. So let's go deliver this boat. Um, I want to finish this mission up. That we, uh, you know, we had this hanging since the last um, time. Other things we want to add: spotlights. Um, I want to fix the throttles. Um, that's something that you know when when um, when we're working on this boat last, um, one of the update patches had broken the um, they broke these uh, these bar graphs, and so they have subsequently fixed that. So let's um, do that. Let's um, start going in reverse here. Okay, so we're in reverse here, and I'm just gonna. Get close, I'm gonna press three. Okay. All right, so now we're just coasting in. I'm gonna grab my rope. I'm gonna hook my rope to the end here. Um, is that closed? That is closed, okay. All right, so now this is the benefit here. Let's go winch out. All right, we hear that's going, so that's good. Let's start going forwards. Okay. So as you can see, we're having that tilting issue just because, you know, of how the towing works, which is fine. Um, it's not too much of a list. I don't want to, yeah, I might put some, uh, do some stability work in there, put in some fins or something to control it so it's a little bit flatter, but um, it's not terrible right now. All right, so I'm gonna start going full throttle here. So as you can see, before we had a tow speed of about 10 knots, we're up to 15 knots now. So the supercharging has helped us. That's so gave us, you know, 50% speed boost. When we're, uh, when we're actually, um, you know, have it under load. And this should go out to a maximum of 20 uh, meters. So that's at 15 meters now. Um, so another thing, you know, I talked about is putting in a, um, putting in a heading hold system. So it'll be a heading hold autopilot, which will be nice. That will allow us to, um, you know, that will allow us to set a heading and then uh, the boat will auto rudder. Sometimes when you're when you're you know uh, towing, especially um, you know it's lifting. If you notice, we're pitching up. Um, that's going to cause it. So you have to constantly modulate your um, you know where you're aiming. So we'll put a uh, heading hold in there as well. Um, I don't want to go too much in you know a bunch of other autopilots. This is a small boat, but we'll do heading hold. Will be nice um, because we can just set a heading and it will automatically kind of track us there. So our winch is all the way out, so we can shut that off. I'll fix these um, these thrust gauges, and I'll show you how to do that with the bar graphs. Um, like I said, the devs, one of the patches had broken that, and that has been subsequently fixed. All right, so let's uh, deliver this. So we're, we're leaving um, the uh, beginner base here. We're going to head over to Sawyer North. All right, so... Um, you know, I really, I don't want to do a map system in this small of a boat. I think a lot of people become dependent upon it. Um, and so I'll put my ADF navigation system in this. Um, you know, I find that to be a little bit more interesting, a little bit more fun to use. Um, you know, plus, you know, the distances in game are really pretty small. You don't need a ton of this, a ton of, uh, you know, help. And so we can even, if we look at our binoculars, we can even see there is uh, Sawyer North where we're going. So, you know, you don't really need it, um, it for a lot of this stuff. And so a lot of people, I think, they become dependent upon it. Um, you know, if you use Dead Reckoning, you can look at the uh, shape of the coast. You can look at indentations like this, lighthouse. Um, you know, and if you have a compass, you know, okay, I'm going, you know, south, southeast. I guess if you look here, we're heading south, southeast. And so, um, um, south, southeast? Yeah, south, southeast, um, towards there. So, you know, and then if you look, we can see the rail line. And if you look over here, we can see the rail line. So we can, we can use landmarks. There's a hospital island to do dead reckoning. We can even see, um, I think we can see a cove in there. There's a cove in there. 
we look around here, there's a cove, you know, so so using dead reckoning is a good method. So as you can see how the boat, because the bow's up and it's kind of dancing around, that's obnoxious. That's why we're going to want that heading hold. Put that heading hold in, it will keep it very stable like this. It'll look like this the whole time without me having to do it. And then I can walk around the boat if I need to and do anything else and I don't have to just sit there and worry about it. But so the supercharging has worked. As you can see, uh, we were towing at 10 knots before. We're towing at 14 now, so that's that's nice. Um, you know, we could probably get more with an impeller. I'll have to, um, we'll do some testing with that. All right, so this won't take long. Um, like I was saying last video, the uh, rewards, the financial rewards for a, uh, for these towing missions are pretty low. So sometimes, you know, they're worth just skipping. Um, unless you want to, but um, putting in an autopilot system, you know, at least a heading hold helps just because you can, you know, you can kind of set it to go to where you want and then, you know, do something else or, um, you know, watch a YouTube video. So we're making good progress here. As you can see, we're close to Sawyer, Sawyer um, North. So that was definitely worth um, taking the time to stop at base and rebuild. Or, or not rebuild, but work on the craft, add a winch. Um, you know, and so one of the reasons, again, why this bow is picking up is that winch is higher than the center of gravity and it's higher than the center of, center of thrust. So because it's higher, the props are going to try to push that bow up. Um, if, if this was perfectly in line with um, the center of thrust, um, you know, you wouldn't have any lift at all. But uh, we want it high so that you know I don't like I don't like when the cables clip through the sides of blocks. I like it to be more realistic. So we have a ship up there. We need to keep our eye on here. He's right um, there, as you can see. So it's a reasonably large ship, so we don't want to hit that. And uh, we're gonna go behind it. Um, it's a larger ship, it is right away. So, uh, might add a radar at some point. What is this? It's my lights. Okay, might add a radar at some point. Um, you know, so that's something we could add. Um, I'll add that ADF navigation system probably. So the way that works is you just plug in a waypoint, and the needle will point to where the waypoint is, and it will tell you what course you need to go to, so what heading to go, not course, what heading you need to go to to get there. And then with a heading hold autopilot, all you have to do is punch that in. So he's moving pretty slow, but I really don't want to cut in front of him and then get hit. So um, we'll still aim to the to the rear of him. We'll kind of do some realistic stuff. We still need nav lights on here. I need to paint these um, throttles. So if you, you hear how we have that, um, almost sounds like the motor stalling out, that's our anti-fly system working. It's reducing our thrust. All it's doing is automatically reducing our thrust so that we don't, uh, you know, if you didn't do that, um, it would probably flip the boat. So that's why that's good. Um, okay, he is moving awfully slow. Um, I'm, I'm nervous cutting in front of him, I really am. <laughs> but I think we should be able to beat him here. Uh, you know, famous last words. But um, yeah, he's moving really slow. I think we should, oh, why am I? Just as just as I say, we should be able to beat him. My boat slows down by like six knots. All right, so we're gonna stay tight to the shore um, and try to beat him. He looks like he's sinking. So um, yeah, yeah. So we're good. We're faster than he is. So we should. We're we gonna beat him. I don't know why. Uh, maybe he's not. He looks like he's sinking. I don't know what's up with that. We could do some piracy on that, but. I'll all right, so we're uh, doing well here. We're getting close to the um, we're getting close to Sawyer North, which should give us a um, completion here once we get um, pretty close. And then we can just leave that um, we can just leave the boat that we picked up there. I'm gonna start bringing that winch in. Hopefully we get a completion here soon. We're awfully close and we haven't got it yet. I'm wondering if something's broken on that. 
Yep, there it is. Perfect. Okay, so we got three grand. That's not actually too bad. I thought it was going to be less. That was going to be like two. So that's pretty good. Uh, we have the winch coming in here. And we'll just winch that in. So there's three grand right there for that um, for that tow job. It's not bad. And I think once we get this dropped off, we'll uh, we'll end the video here and we will uh, work on some more stuff in the next one. Try to keep these a little on the short side. Okay, so that's close enough. And let's grab the. Um, I wanted to grab it off here. But, uh, let me see. Can I get it? Can I get it? There we go. He's gonna come a little closer. I'll bring him more. Okay, so there's our rope. Okay. All right, so that's um, all attached. Let's go back to our base, and uh, you know we'll talk about what we'll do next video, and then we'll uh, end it there. All right, so we're doing. Uh, you know, it's hard to tell what our real speed is going to be just because the uh, you know with the waves you get more, but. Uh, so the supercharging seemed to help with towing by a lot. Um, our top speed's not going up very much, but um, with supercharging, we were able to uh, we we're able to tow at 50% more speed. You know, I think we were towing at 10 knots. Um, you know, when we brought it to the base, and then uh, we were able to tow at 15 knots. So that was a, that's pretty good tow speed. You know, to put it in perspective. A lot of tugboats might tow at two or three knots in real life. Um, I doubt any real towboats are towing. You know, boats at 15 knots like that, that's awfully fast, so it's, it's good speed for in game. Um, so some things we want to work on, I want to color these thrusts so that they show, so that they show what our thrusts are um, in game, so it gives us kind of a visual representation of that. Um, so that's something we can do. And then need to put on nav lights, um, that's another thing. Might work on impellers for supercharging. Um, you know, I saw somebody's build, they did it directly, they didn't bother putting in a bypass valve, so I need to see if we need a bypass valve. So essentially what I mean by bypass valve is when you're starting the motors, um, you're not going to get any uh, any flow on that um, air, so you might starve your engine out. So um, it may work because you're going to have air trapped in the pipes, and so if you have air trapped in the pipes, that might be enough air to allow you to... Um, to start the engine, then once the engine starts up, um, so the, so the problem is it'd have to be, you'd have to always have it clutched because you need that impeller to go. So you need a bypass valve until the clutch is at, is until the clutch is at one. So what a bypass valve would do is, it, if the valve was open, you would just take in regular air, and if the valve was closed, you'd take in um, supercharged air. So that's something we can work on. Um, you know, see if we can squeeze some more power out of this boat. But uh, see, we haven't had any uh, heating problems. We're doing raw water cooling again, which you know really shouldn't lead to any heating problems. You know, we probably got up to 50 degrees. Um, fuel, we're sipping fuel, as you can see, using tiny amounts of fuel, which is great. Um, we're charging our battery up nicely, um, so the boat's working well. What is that? Oh, a helicopter landing at our base. Yep, helicopter just landed at our base. She's gonna make a ton of noise. But, uh, so uh, another thing I was thinking of is so um, you know, like I said, I I made this video first week of April. Um, so uh, you know, it's been a little while. So I've worked on some other projects. Um, so one thing I want to get into in in career is resource trading. You know, we've done a bunch of the missions, so I don't want to keep you know beating a dead horse with some of the same missions. So I think it'd be kind of fun to get into some resource trading. So uh, what I mean by that is we could do things like containers. Um, we can uh, we can start to do uh, fuel trading and oil trading. That's uh, is really nice. I like doing that. Um, so I made a little um, a powered uh, a powered barge. So we'll probably use that. I, I built that so that it would fit in this beginner base. I want to stay at the beginner base for a little while. Um, and so we'll start the powered barge, um, 
you know, and I'll, I'll post that when it's to a release date. I was going to post uh, this vehicle, you know, every video, the update on it. But what I think I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to wait until this is a little bit closer to a release state. And then I'll release this. And then I'll start, you know, every video I'll do an uh, update. And that will, uh, and that way if you want to follow along, you can kind of go to that um, that actual release of the uh, boat. So that way, you know, if you want to roll back one, you can. But, you know, I figured most people aren't probably aren't going to want to just follow along, um, you know. So I'll kind of get it to where this is at a release date, which is pretty close. I'm pretty happy with it. All right, so we're almost back here. Uh, and in the next video, we'll start working on some of those things. There goes that rescue helicopter. It's visiting, I guess. Alright, so next video will probably focus a little bit more on um, some mechanical stuff. Alright, we should probably also add the ability to refuel this boat as well. Alright, so we're back. Let's recall this and see where our money is at before we save. All righty, so we have, let me just recall that. So that's back recalled. Let's look at our money. Uh, we have 29309 in cash. So doing pretty well in cash. All right. Um, and that gives us a surplus of like 10 grand. Um, let me show you, let me see if this will fit um, the barge. Okay, so the power barge fits. So let me, um, can I spawn this? What's this cost? 20,000. So that will cost 20,000 to spawn. So we can spawn this. Um, you know, I'm not going to be able to spawn something to load containers yet. So probably end up um, making a fuel container and just dropping it on there. That way we have it. So, um, all right, so we'll go into all that next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.